How to install Facebook Pixel on Shopify and track conversion 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you're going to be able to install Facebook Pixel on Shopify and actually track conversions in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure to watch this video till the end to fully gain all the information for when it comes to installing Facebook Pixel and actually tracking all your conversions. And, you know, you can maybe start to uh, create a store as well because every proper Facebook Pixel needs a proper track conversion. And for that, we're going to make a new store. Now, making a new store on Shopify is absolutely easy. You're just going to click on start free trial. And once you click on start free trial, it takes you to the email process, email sign up process and everything. And uh, once you've you know, fulfilled all the necessary information, it's going to bring you to this place over here. And this is your basic dashboard. And over here, you're going to get all these setup guides and uh, do make sure to fold these out because the setup guides contain all the necessary things for when it comes to uh, working with your Shopify. So just fill these things out and you can also just go in apps over here and in apps you can write things but for a better measure i'm going to go on add apps and i'm going to click on shopify app store now once you go to your shopify app store what you're going to do from there is uh, you're going to come to a place where it's going to ask you to um, you know actually input some kind of application in the text bar right up here so in the text bar what you're going to do is you're going to write facebook so in our case, let's go ahead and write Facebook over here. And I'm going to add a Facebook page as so. Now, once you've added a Facebook page, basically, it's going to give you all these different Facebook applications. Okay. And there's different Facebook applications by different, you know, producers. And there's also the Facebook and Instagram application, which is by Meta itself. And this is obviously the official one. This is the official one that Meta put out itself. So to add it, you're going to open it up. And once you open it up, you're going to click on install. And once you click on install, obviously it takes you back to your Shopify store, to your dashboard, and it takes you through the whole installation process in the easiest, most simplest way possible. And obviously you're going to want to have the best installation to yourself as possible because, uh, you know, it's just a good and better way to have everything done. So over here, you're going to click on add sales channel. And what this will do is it will allow your sales channel of Facebook to be added to your Shopify. Now, once your sales channel is added from there on out, what you are going to do is uh, basically you're going to make a meta business account. OK, now, if you already have a meta business account, then this is going to be even quicker and a piece of cake for you. But uh, preferably, you are going to want to make a meta business account and you are going to want to connect your Facebook and Instagram or you know, if you don't want to connect your Instagram, that's upon you. But yeah, make sure to connect your Instagram and Facebook to that. And we're going to click on start setup. Now here it says Facebook account, connect your account. So obviously I'm going to connect my account that I have on Facebook with Shopify. And there we go. Now, once you do this, uh, here it gives you a few things. So if you have a catalog for your product, etc. Now this is obviously my Instagram, so I'm not going to go with this. Uh, I'm going to go with this one over here. Okay. Because this is my Facebook page and I'm going to go ahead and click on connect. And as you can see, I've connected my Facebook page. Now it's going to give me three options, conservative, enhanced, or maximum. Now, this obviously depends on whatever type of, uh, you know, conservative stuff that I want to go with. So in my case, you know, there's conservative and uh, you can get app performance and customer targeting improvements, but prioritize sharing less information. This setting uses a Metapixel, which is a third party cookie that collects and shares customers browsing behavior on your store you know browser based and uh, it has ad blockers which can prevent the pixel from collecting data then there's enhanced where it basically a use proven okay it's established methods for strong ad performance then there's customer activity data which is shared using the meta pixel advanced matching and the conversions api customers can basically disconnect this data from their facebook account by changing their settings for off facebook activity and then there's maximum finally where you can get the best possible results, this setting is continually updated with Facebook's latest advertising technology and shares the most data with Facebook. Customer activity is shared using the Metapixel and advanced matching and conversions API. Customers can disconnect this data from their Facebook account by changing their settings to pour off Facebook activity. So I'm just going to go ahead with maximum for myself. And once you do that, it asks you to connect a pixel to track customer behavior. Now, to make a pixel, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your meta business suite. Okay. 
And uh, once we go over to our Meta Business Suite over here, I'm going to log into my Meta Business Suite with my Facebook account connected, obviously. And once you go into your Facebook account, it's going to bring you to a home page like this. And in this home page, what we are going to do is we are going to be making some things out of the tools that were provided over here. So we're going to come over to all tools. And once we're in all tools, you're going to you know see all these things like business feed, billing and payment, paid settings, and a whole lot more. So this is basically you can create a pixel for yourself and actually add tracking conversions. So it depends on you on however you want to go with this. But obviously, if you don't have a pixel, you're going to go over to your setting. And once you go over to your settings, we're going to go over to business assets. OK, and uh, obviously, once you go into your business assets, you're going to add a proper asset, which is going to be either, you know, your Facebook page or something. So to add a business asset you can uh, either go into your accounts or you can go into your business account info because obviously this is your settings for your business users or your business assets and you can see different things over here you know there's your business account info and a whole lot of things uh now obviously as you can see i am switched to my instagram one right now uh let's switch to the one that we're you know we actually have on our you know shopify which is essentially, you could say, our Facebook page. So in this case, once you are over here, you know, there's business asset groups that you have. Now, once you go to business asset groups, basically, we're just going to open this up. And once you open this up, you're going to make sure to add the asset that you have for your business. And I'm just going to click on confirm, click on create business asset group. And uh, you're just going to, you know, you have separate brand lines, different regions, agencies. Uh, you're going to go ahead and configure yourself with this. And once everything is good to go, again, as I stated, you're going to want to make a proper pixel with your assets. OK, and a pixel will be found in assets. OK, if you don't have the pixel in assets, uh, it's not going to pretty much make anything because obviously if I come over here, you can see it has no assets over here and every asset has a tool term. OK, and if you don't meet those terms, then the asset cannot be created. So obviously make sure to create your assets and you can also, uh, let's say I'm going to switch to my Facebook account because obviously this is on my uh, main, uh, you know, different account. So once you come here, you know, this is only based for my Facebook. So you can start assets over here as well, only for your Facebook, which is, you could say the essential page that I have for my ads. So again, uh, just come here. You know, you have your Facebook page and in your Facebook page, you can add different page settings, connect different ad accounts. And once you all do all of that, you're going to agree to their terms and conditions. And once all of that is done, you're going to add a sales channel of Facebook into your basic Shopify. And once you do that, once all of that is done, you can start tracking the pixels easily. You can start tracking the conversions really simply. It's going to be really easy. It's going to be really out of this world. So to track all these things for yourself, all you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you are going to make sure to go over to your content and planner development. So to go over to the content and planner development, just to, you know, check your insights. And in the insights, you can basically track all your conversions by viewing all your insights with your Shopify store. So, yeah, that's basically about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. That's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.